the world faces a new health threat, monkeypox. The World Health Organization has declared it a global health emergency. This means the situation is serious and requires a coordinated international response. The outbreak is caused by a severe strain of the virus called Clade 1. This strain is causing serious illness and even death, particularly in Africa. The WHO's declaration is a wake-up call. It highlights the need for urgent action. We must work together to stop the spread of this dangerous virus. Monkeypox is a viral infection. It is similar to smallpox, but less severe. The virus spreads from animals to humans. It can also spread from person to person. There are two main strains of monkeypox. Clade 1 is the more severe strain causing the current outbreak. Clade 2 is milder. The current outbreak is concerning because Clade 1 is more deadly. Monkeypox causes a range of symptoms. The most noticeable is a rash. It starts as flat red bumps. These bumps turn into blisters filled with fluid. Eventually, the blisters scab over. Other symptoms include fever, headache, and muscle aches. Swollen lymph nodes and fatigue are also common. Monkeypox can be deadly, especially clade one. Complications include pneumonia and brain inflammation. The monkeypox outbreak is a global concern. Most cases are in Africa. However, cases have appeared in other countries too. This shows the virus can spread internationally. The outbreak is straining healthcare systems. This is especially true in poorer countries with limited resources. The WHO is concerned the virus could spread further. This is a real risk in areas with weak healthcare. The situation demands international cooperation. We must support affected countries and stop the virus from spreading. Section five, fighting back, vaccines and treatment. Vaccines are crucial for controlling monkeypox. The Genios vaccine is effective in preventing infection. However, access to vaccines is a challenge, especially in Africa. More needs to be done to ensure everyone who needs the vaccine gets it. Antiviral treatments are available for severe cases. These drugs can be life-saving. They help manage symptoms and prevent complications. However, like vaccines, access to these treatments is limited. This is particularly true in low-income countries. Section six, the WHO takes charge. The World Health Organization, commonly known as the WHO, has been at the forefront of global health crises for decades. Their role in managing and mitigating health emergencies is unparalleled. The WHO is leading the global fight against monkeypox. This involves coordinating with various health agencies and governments around the world to ensure a unified and effective response. Declaring a global health emergency was a crucial step. This declaration not only mobilizes resources, but also raises awareness about the severity of the situation, prompting immediate action from countries and health organizations. It alerted the world to the seriousness of the outbreak. News outlets across the globe covered the declaration, bringing the issue to the forefront of public consciousness and emphasizing the need for urgent measures. The WU is also providing guidance to countries on how to respond. This guidance includes detailed protocols and best practices for managing the outbreak, ensuring that countries are well equipped to handle the crisis. This includes advice on surveillance, case management, and infection control. Surveillance is critical for tracking the spread of the virus, while effective case management and infection control are essential for treating patients and preventing further transmission. The WU is working directly with affected countries. Their teams are on the ground, collaborating with local health authorities to implement strategies tailored to the specific needs and challenges of each region. They are providing technical assistance and support. This includes training healthcare workers, setting up necessary medical infrastructure, and ensuring that local health systems are strengthened to handle the outbreak. The WU is also advocating for increased funding and resources. Financial support is crucial for sustaining the response efforts, and the WHO is actively engaging with international donors and organizations to secure the necessary funds. This support is vital to control the outbreak. The distribution of medical supplies, including personal protective equipment and antiviral medications, is essential for protecting healthcare workers and treating those affected by the virus. The WHO's comprehensive approach ensures that all aspects of the outbreak are addressed from prevention and treatment to public awareness and international cooperation. Section seven, experts weigh in. Health experts around the world agree. 
We need a multifaceted approach to defeat monkeypox. This includes strengthening disease surveillance systems. We need to detect and track cases more effectively. Infection prevention and control measures are also essential. Public awareness campaigns are vital. People need to know how the virus spreads and how to protect themselves. Early detection and isolation of cases are also important. This can help prevent further spread. Section 8. Protecting the vulnerable. Certain groups are more vulnerable to monkeypox. These include pregnant women, young children, and people with weakened immune systems. It is our duty to protect these groups. We must ensure they have access to vaccines, treatment, and health care. Targeted interventions are also important. This means tailoring our response to meet the specific needs of vulnerable communities. We must leave no one behind in the fight against monkeypox. Section 9. The Road Ahead, Research and Collaboration. In this section, we delve into the critical role that research and collaboration play in combating the monkeypox virus. The journey ahead is challenging, but with concerted efforts, we can make significant strides. More research is needed to fully understand monkeypox. This includes studying its origins, transmission patterns, and the various factors that influence its spread. By examining samples and analyzing data, scientists can uncover vital information that will help in developing effective strategies. We need to know more about how it spreads, how to treat it, and how to prevent it. Understanding the transmission dynamics is crucial for implementing effective control measures. Medical professionals are constantly reviewing patient treatment plans to ensure the best possible care and how to prevent it. International collaboration is crucial. Public health officials play a key role in educating communities about prevention strategies. Community health workers are on the front lines, distributing materials and raising awareness to curb the spread of the virus. Scientists and researchers must share information and work together. Collaboration across borders allows for the pooling of resources and expertise, accelerating the pace of discovery. Video conferences and multinational labs are essential platforms for this exchange of knowledge. The development of new vaccines and treatments is a priority. Laboratory technicians and scientists are tirelessly working on creating vaccines that are not only effective, but also accessible to all. Testing new medical treatments is a continuous process that requires dedication and precision. We need more effective and accessible tools to fight this virus. Healthcare workers are crucial in administering vaccines and ensuring that they reach the most vulnerable populations. Researchers are also focused on developing innovative medical tools that can aid in the diagnosis and treatment of monkeypox. The global community must invest in research and development. Global health summits bring together diverse participants to discuss and strategize on the best ways to tackle the virus. Government officials play a pivotal role by announcing funding for research and initiatives, which is essential for sustained progress. This is an investment in global health security. By investing in research and development, we are not only addressing the current outbreak but also preparing for future health challenges. This investment ensures that we have the necessary tools and knowledge to protect global health security. Section 10. A Shared Responsibility The monkeypox outbreak is a reminder that we live in an interconnected world. Diseases do not respect borders. We are all at risk. Therefore, we must all be part of the solution. Governments, organizations and individuals all have a role to play. We must support global health initiatives. We must strengthen healthcare systems worldwide. We must work together to prevent and control future outbreaks. Global health security is a shared responsibility. Section 11, conclusion, a call to action. This is a pivotal moment in our fight against infectious diseases. The monkeypox outbreak is a serious threat. It has spread rapidly, affecting communities worldwide and putting immense pressure on our healthcare systems. But it is a threat we can overcome. With the right strategies, resources, and collective effort, we can turn the tide against this outbreak. By working together, we can control the outbreak, save lives, and protect the vulnerable. We must act now. We must act decisively. We must act together. Our combined efforts can make a significant difference. The time for complacency is over. We cannot afford to wait or hesitate. Every moment counts in our mission to safeguard public health. The time for action is now. We need to mobilize resources, enhance our healthcare infrastructure, and ensure that vaccines and treatments are accessible to all. Let us answer the call of the whole. Their guidance and support are crucial in our coordinated response to this global health crisis. 
Let us unite in our determination to defeat monkeypox. Our unity and resolve will be our greatest strength in this battle. The health of our world depends on it. The well-being of our families, friends, and communities is at stake. We must prioritize health and safety above all else. Let's work together to create a healthier, safer future for all. By joining forces, we can build a world where everyone has the opportunity to thrive, free from the threat of infectious diseases.